In this video we're going to implement dependency injection to our service. Dependency injection enables us to decouple reusable functionality by injecting it rather than creating it inside service for example. So we're going to inject the current logged in user service to our service. Here we have our call service and we're going to search on Google for Drupal 8 services and there's a very nice page from api.drupal.org where we can search for all the services from Drupal core so we need the current user service and there it is in order to inject the current user service we have to copy this bit and inside of the services yaml file we can just say arguments and we're going to say like this current user so the current user is injected now we have to get it here inside of our class so we're going to declare a public function cons and here we're going to be passing the current user and we're going to create a private variable current user and here we're going to say this current user equals current user and basically the current user is account proxy object so we say here use and we say that the current user is object of type account proxy and this way would have the current user injected and we can go ahead and create a new public function and call it who is your owner and first we can just debug the current user service by kin showing it and let's go ahead returns the call owner and first let's go ahead and debug it by using the execute php code functionality of devel and call here who is your owner and if we execute it Yes, we would first have to clear the cache in order to make sure that this bit is enabled. So the cache is cleared. If we run it one more time, yes, there we go. We get the account proxy current user service so if we go under viable methods and just get display name basically we should get the display name of the current logged in user so let's go ahead and say get display name and let's just go ahead and return it and if we resubmit our develop PHP, now we see the display name of the current logged in user, which the cow service says that the current logged in user is its owner. This is how dependency injection works. So if you like this video, please check the links in the description subscribe and please click the bell icon next to the subscribe button in order to get notifications for new videos from Drupal.